Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash. Today, I want to show you how to set up your attributes in RPG Developer Bakken. Put simply, attributes are properties that will go on ally and enemy casts and can be set up to make them weak against things like elements or other certain types of attacks like slash versus pierce versus impact. You would use attributes to make an ice-based monster weak against a fire-based spell. To get started, we'll just go into database. The engine comes with six attributes by default, but I've removed all of them except for these four you can, of course, add your own attributes. Each one of these has a name and an icon image. And over on the right hand side of this window, you can see its compatibility between attributes, percentage, and this is kind of allowing you to set up the relationships that different attributes or elements have against one another. For example, the ice attribute would be strong against the fire attribute, at least for some games. We can modify the fire attribute to be any number, and I've set it to be minus 100. Because these are in percentages, that means that the ice attack will be 100% effective against any enemy who has a fire attribute. I did the same thing with my fire attribute and I made it 100% effective against ice attribute, so I put a minus 100 here as well. And for my holy attribute, I made it minus 100% effective against dark, which means that it will deal extra damage to dark attribute monsters, and dark is strong against holy. You can set up this element or this attribute to have different advantages or disadvantages versus other elements. You don't have to just set the numbers for one of these, like I did. You can also go the other direction in order to set up resistances against this element. So for example, if I wanted to say that fire was weak against a steel type enemy, I would add a steel attribute and then I would make sure to put a positive number here instead of a negative number next to that steel attribute. We'll just hit apply and OK. Now I've set up a simple map that just has my character and one monster encounter in an event. And I want to show you the monsters that I set up for this battle. They are in casts. I added three folders to my casts menu, by the way, so that I can more easily keep track of which ones are monsters, which ones are heroes, and which ones are NPCs. Under the monsters, I basically took a slime and copied it twice so that I would have three different slimes that had the exact same stats, except they will all have different attribute resistances. All you have to do here is just click on the attribute resistance. This will bring us back to the asset picker where we can pick which attribute definition we want to apply to the monster. And since this, this is the ice slime, I selected the ice attribute. Now, while you are in this menu, you can check the compatibility between attributes and this will kind of let you verify that this monster is going to be negative 100 strong against fire which is exactly what I intended but note that you won't be able to change any of these values while you are in the asset picker I've done the same thing for the fire slime he has the attribute resistance of fire and the dark slime has an attribute resistance of dark the state resistances are nearby but we're not going to mess with those as those are pertaining to different status effects like poison sleep paralysis and so on it's treated as a completely different category here now I have set up my hero. He does have an attribute resistance, but this is kind of negligible. I'm not going to have the monsters use any attacks on him. However, what I did do is I gave him three spells, Firestorm, Ice Storm, and Holy Bolt. If we go into the skills menu, I can show you that all three of these have the exact same parameters. The only difference is that each one has a different damage attribute. The Firestorm spell has a damage attribute of fire, Ice Storm has ice, and Holy Bolt has holy. How original. All right, so with all of that set up, I'm going to hit test play, new game, and all works expected to do for this event is just walk up to this event and talk to it and he'll remind you that it's slime time and we're going to fight our three ginormous slimes. I'm going to go ahead and show you by selecting each one or hovering my cursor over each one. I have a dark slime, an ice slime in the middle, fire slime is on the right. Watch what happens to their damage values when I use a skill against them. I'm going to use firestorm. The ice slime in the middle received the most damage. He received 100% more damage. So instead of the base 25 damage that the spell would take, which is what the other two slimes suffered, he actually got hit for 50 damage. One more example. Talk to the slime again. And we're going to use Ice Storm. And remember, the fire slime is on the far right side. The fire slime took twice the damage because in this little universe, fire is weak against ice just as ice is weak against fire. Don't question it. Now you can also set attack attributes on your various weapons. And so here I have a long sword that has an attack attribute of fire. I'm going to say the attribute attack power is 10 just to be arbitrary. Hit apply and OK. And I've already given my main character this weapon. And now we're just going to attack with this long sword. I'm going to attack the dark slime first to give you a frame of reference. Twenty one damage. That wasn't too bad. Let's attack the fire slime now. 
33 damage. That must have been a critical hit. Now let's attack the Ice Slime. 29 damage, and that was not a critical hit. We're attacking the left slime, that's the dark slime. 30 damage, and that was a critical hit. Attacking the right side slime, that's the fire slime. Only 19. I did not set it up to where fire had a resistance to fire. And the ice slime. He suffered 30 damage, and it wasn't a critical hit. So I hope that that explains a little bit about attributes in RPG developer Bakin. That's all the time I have for now, so thank you very much for watching. Please let me know how I did. Comment anything you want down below, and have a great rest of your evening. Bye for now.